quite a few people have been asking about uh, my garage wiring efforts so this is uh, a quick video to show what I've done so this is a fused spur this is coming off the ring main so that was a single socket before and the fridge and the freezer I had an extension lead here um, and they were both coming off a single plug on the extension lead so I've put a double plug in um, I've connected the, the fused spur and we've got steel wired armor cable running underneath I've still got to fix that to the wall yet and I've got to finish fixing the cables back there so that's an indoor job and out here SWA cable comes out here runs along there so all that still needs fixing so I've got to fix that runs over the top and into the garage I was going to run it through the floor so that's where the old cable came through when I stripped the garage out and I stripped all the cabling out so I've put a light on the outside there that's still the old one I haven't taken that off yet because it's just going to leave a really big dirty hole so I don't want to uh, I don't want to do that just yet until I've tidied it up so that's the light that I've connected so yeah that's still that's a SWA cable coming in through the wall so before the cable was coming in through the floor there and it was dug underneath the path but I don't want to do that this time uh, I just don't want to dig up the path because it's too much effort and uh, someone said that I could go overhead and I've attached it I've fixed it quite firmly overhead with a uh, um, they're sort of a tension cable that I've attached it to the tension cable so that's what that is so the cables brought through to a plug socket I kind of wanted one about there um, as you can see that's just a normal plug socket um, and then from here I've got two and a half mil cable running up uh, inside the conduit that was a bit fiddly to put up and I've done some funny things here as you'll see in a sec so that runs all the way along here so that cable wanted to brought all the way over to here which is where the bench is uh, so I've got another plug socket there and then from that plug socket uh, that goes into so that's two and a half mil to another fused spur with a three amp fuse on it and from there I've got a one and a half mil cable that runs up to do the lights which are, which are there you can't really see because it's quite bright at the moment but I've got three strip lights. Strip lights are really easy to install because they've just got two, they've got kind of two pushing cables. They're inc incredibly bright, they're LED lights. They're not that expensive. But what I did was, so I connected all, connected them all in series. So I wired all the cables along. And then when I got to there, I didn't read the instructions so I wired the cable all the way along here back to the switch which is there however that wasn't the way to do it so what I ended up so I messed up and it blew the fuse what I should have done was put in a switch at that end uh, which uh, so I had to take the cable coming from the light over there I had to bring it back all the way back here to this point before the first light and now I've brought the cable off of there and that runs along to which way does that go <coughs> that goes over there and across to the switch and that runs across to the switch over there it's quite complicated uh, so I managed to bodge that but if I planned it out properly at the start it would have been alright so that's another slight bodge job so where the uh, where the cable comes out and goes into uh, and goes through the wall for the light that's on the outside that should obviously be the wrong, the other way around um, I have put a, a rubber bung in there and that should have some conduit on it I don't know I'll try and tidy it up at some point uh, so this so also coming out of here, I've got uh, 
another cable that comes out and goes straight out to so it goes along that conduit as well as the two and a half mil that's both inside that conduit um, and that's that cable that comes out and goes through to the light so what because what I needed there was a light that wasn't affected by the light switch so I needed continuous power so that the light outside just turned on and off when I needed it uh, when the uh, uh, you know when it got dark so that's that uh, the conduit was a pain because I sort of learned stuff as I went along and when I was pulling the cables through the conduit it was damaging the cable so you just got to be really really careful when I found out you know I ended up kind of sanding the just corners of the inside of the conduit so it didn't damage the cable so there you have it I'll show you what it looks like in the dark